I've been a nurse um, for a long time and recently I've been a regional manager and I've decided that I'd like to get back to working as a manager in a home to be close to the residents and to be able to make sure that the residents have um, good care, that they're treated with dignity and that they feel safe and have fun. A vibrant home is a home where everyone becomes involved with what's going on in the home. I think it's important that the manager's approachable and visible and that all of the team work well as a team within the home and that the home has links with the outside community, that people are brought outside and they can go out whenever they want to, to events that are going on locally and that outside um, local events and communities can be brought into the home. We encourage the residents to maintain their contacts with the community. That's with actually within the Avery service, but also beyond into the local community as well, and to maintain friendships. For many of our family and friends, visiting the home is not always something that they can do. It may be they live um, a distance from the home. Um, it may be they just lead busy lives, but social platforms enable people to engage with the home, to feel part of the home and actually to physically contribute in, in, in conversation. And it's also important that at Avery we support new friendships and enable residents to engage in new experiences as well as the familiar regular routines. In Kingsmere we will help people to settle into their home by encouraging them to come to the home frequently before they actually come to become permanent. We would encourage them to come as often as they'd like to have afternoon tea or to join in with the other residents for activities. We'd also encourage the family members to come and join with them and have meals if they would like to. I think it's very important that the resident feels comfortable before they move into the home and that they're sure of their surroundings before they come. We will encourage people to use our residence bus uh, to go out to the local community. We we'll use local, uh, our local area as much as we can, for example, Canazaro Park um, in Wimbledon with the open air theatre. We are very lucky to be placed with, near the theatres of London so we can use those. We will have river trips and boat trips. Uh, we'll have regular shopping trips and being uh, guided by what the residents choose for themselves. When it's nice, we can go out of the garden and dig a few plants or something, or if not, we can all get in the van and go for a mystery tour, you know, around Moulton. And then uh, we go, like yesterday we went out, and there was about eight of us, and we went to Sunnyside, and we had lunch. Kingsmere Retirement Home is a beautiful building. It's got lots of facilities for the residents to use. There's a cinema, a suite on the upstairs. There's going to be three cafes, cafe bars, where residents can come with their family members and it helps them to feel like they've been out for the day even if they haven't been able to. We will also have a private dining room which residents can use and it can be booked out for any special occasions. We also have a therapy room where residents can be pampered and we have a hairdressing salon and we have bedrooms that have extra large beds with an ensuite which has a walk-in shower. We'll have some quiet lounges in the building and there's lots of space for people to, to be in company or to also be alone if they would choose to be. The environment is extremely important. We work very, very closely with our internal interior team, looking at the fabrics, the textures, the wall coverings and everything that would be suitable for the residents that come into the home. So in particular in our memory care unit we have things like the coffee shops. We have coffee shops as you come into the entrances of the home so that we can create a really vibrant atmosphere and really somewhere where the families can still have social interactive interaction in a space that's suitable for both them and the residents and obviously younger family members as well. In Kingsmere we'll have a, a memory care floor for people with dementia and it's particularly nice because it looks like the whole rest of the home. It, all of the facilities are the same throughout the whole home and the residents will be encouraged to come down to our outside area. We will be planting herbs and vegetables and they'll be used in the kitchen for our food. Which brings me on to the fine dining. We In Kingsmere we're going to be having, it's like a five star hotel service with care. Our dining is going to be a little bit different where we're going to have a situation where people can order their meal 
straight away and then it'll be brought to the kitchen and served to them. We at Avery take a huge pride in providing the right environment, the right standard of care uh, and the right level of hotel services for residents. So we want to keep this at the forefront of the group. The culinary concept at Avery is to have a thoughtful approach uh, by being thoughtful with our menus and ensuring they're well balanced, healthy, uh, appetizing, nourishing, uh, we can then contribute to a, a person's well-being and lifestyle and that's just been by thoughtful about the ingredients that we are putting in our dishes and how we are actually developing our menus. We utilise local suppliers to use fresh quality produce and uh, we have daily deliveries so our ingredients are as fresh as possible. We also incorporate the seasons, we actually embrace the seasons and this we hope delivers um, a quality meal uh, consistently. The most important thing for me is to have a personal touch with the residents themselves and equally as important to have a, a relationship with the family members because I think once uh, if a resident is in the home and they know that their family members are happy and the family members know the residents happy then people settle in much better into the home. The aims of the well-being model are essentially to maximise individual well-being and this is done by looking at the strengths of the individual resident and ensuring that they have and um, they're supported to have the skills and abilities to in engage in a number of activities that have meaning to them. It's not only a very professional care home with incredibly high calibre staff but she's, it's a loving home and I have a huge peace of mind knowing that she's here and you know when your elderly parent needs a care home, it's one of the more stressful things you'll ever go through. So I found that not only were they incredibly supportive of my mother at that awful time, but they were also incredibly supportive of me. My mum responds to them. They, they've learned, even though she's got very advanced Alzheimer's actually, they, they know every single way in which she subtly or perhaps sometimes not very subtly communicates. And they respond to that. And you know, she kisses them a lot. She kisses me a lot, but that tells you an awful lot about how much she loves them and how much they love her back. We came in here and we found this as being one-off. You could not find a place with such amenities and helpfulness and happiness. I think the most important thing is for people to have a happy, fun day. And I will join in to many things I'll, in the activities when the singing going on, I'll be dancing with residents and I would like the staff to do the same. Sometimes you can bring uh, entertainment and if people don't join in, they don't maybe get so much out of it. But if, if everybody else is joining in and everybody loses their inhibitions, then everyone's encouraged to join in. And there's nothing more heartwarming than seeing a whole crowd of people together enjoying some music or dancing or a celebration of something together. So that's the, the, the theme that we'll be looking for in Kingsmere with our team.